What do you know? Welcome to TD's Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus, and today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Zarana figure. Yeah, it's all about Cobra this episode. It's all about the Dreadnoughts, honestly, man, because I'm excited uh, for this figure here, and I'm excited for what we'll be getting uh, future-wise. Seems like uh, we're going to be getting more Dreadnoughts from the G.I. Joe Classified side of things uh, with Ripper, and then, of course, we already have Two versions of Zartan. We have, well, actually, three versions. We have the initial standard G.I. Joe classified version. We have the Hasbro post con exclusive version, which I've reviewed last year. And we also have that new retro carded Zartan that's coming. So we got three Zartan figures. We got more Dreadnoughts coming. And we have this awesome Zorana figure here. And I'm going to tell y'all right off the bat, folks, this has to be, for me, hands down, one of the best. Jajo classified figures of 2022. It is like off the charts, folks. So we're gonna we're gonna dive more into this figure shortly. But I want to take a look at Zorana's accessories because he comes with a number of things. All right, first and foremost, we're gonna take a look at Zorana's backpack. Has a bit of a techie look to it, you know. Uh, even though the dreadnoughts stay out in the swamp, they are you know all about that technology as well. So uh, this looks pretty cool here. Has the various compartments you know, with the backpack and everything. So here on the back, you see the peg for uh, Zorana. You'll be able to peg that into her back. Here is what's going to be really cool. We'll dive into this uh, very soon. This is where that hot blade that uh, is packaged with Zorana will go. So we'll, we'll, we'll definitely dive into that uh, shortly. But this is awesome. So we have Zorana's backpack. So we're going to just place this to Zorana right now, all right? So we're going to place this to Zorana. We're going to get her all geared up. And everything up next we have Zorana's weapon which is this rifle with the buzzsaw uh, blade at the end this looks pretty cool this truly harkens back to what she had back in the day I like this the only thing that I wish this this rifle uh, would have been uh, given is for this blade or just this, this buzzsaw to spin you know I thought that's what it would do but it doesn't it's just like uh, molded into one you know, uh, place, you know, but that's the one thing I wish that they would have given. I, I would have thought that that's something that they would have allowed, you know, for this buzz off for it to spin. That would have been awesome. But this truly harkens back to what we had back in the day here. You see the little uh, peg for the uh, blast effects if we want to do that. So we're going to place this to Zorana. We're going to place a weapon here. All right. So she has a rifle weapon. She's almost ready to go. We got a few more accessories here. I love it. I love it. And up next, we have this here, which is another knife for Zorana to have in her arsenal. This looks pretty nice. Um, nice silver color that they're utilizing here. Uh, here on the back here, you're utilizing that black uh, paint deco for the handle and everything. So that looks nice. So we're going to equip this here to her knife sheath. And this is really awesome. I like that. So we have that there. All right, up next, we have the Hot Blade, and I love this, folks. This looks so awesome. This is one of the things that really stood out to me when they revealed Zoran. I thought this was an awesome idea. Nice detail here with this Hot Blade here. They're utilizing more of a darker paint deco. Seems like a darker brown here mixed with some red or whatnot. Um, looks really cool, man. I like this here. So this here will peg into the her backpack. Again, that's why I say this is, this backpack is a bit techy. You know, looks a little bit like the standard backpack, yet it is grounded in technology as well. So I like that. So you take this blade here and you will peg it into this area. So there you go. So you got the hot blade and the backpack. Got that going here. And then up next, we have Zorana's magazine for her rifle here. So we're going to peg this into the rifle. So this looks pretty cool. Um, I love the interchangeable weapons and the uh, and accessories that are placed with the G.I. Joe classifiers. This is pretty cool. Well, we have a magazine uh, clipped into a rifle. And we got one more accessory, folks. All right, so this next accessory is what really brings this figure home here, especially if you grew up in the 80s and you watched the cartoon. If you had the figure, this really, really, really made me happy when I saw this. So here is the accessory here that really just puts a smile to my face and that is the swappable hair scope now this harkens back to the the original zarana that we had back in the day so the hairstyle that they gave her here 
it's more of a modern look for the figure, which looks awesome. I love this hairstyle. But this also gives you the opportunity to give her that 80s classic look that she had back in the day when her figure was released. So uh, you just pull this off, <laughs> which leaves her bald headed. She looks like Sinead O'Connor from back in the day. I don't know if y'all remember that, uh, but single back in the, the 90s, you know, so she has that Sinead O'Connor look to her. But if you place this on here and she has that 80s, that super 80s look to her right now, man. It's just like, this looks so awesome, folks. So this is the original Zorana look that we had back in the day. And this looks awesome. So I like this right here. This looks pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, so Rana is geared up, folks. She is ready to cause trouble for G.I. Joe. Maybe not Mainframe. Now, Mainframe is the G.I. Joe character that she fell in love with. That was one of my most favorite episodes. That was so cool. So she went undercover. Her mission was to infiltrate G.I. Joe, sabotage G.I. Joe. She wound up falling in love with a G.I. Joe member who was Mainframe. So that was pretty cool. I've geared her up with all her accessories, and now we're going to take a closer look at Zorana and everything. So we're going to take kind of take everything off, and then we're going to take a look at her as a whole. But from the get-go, I'm going to leave this on for right now for this portion of the review. Uh, this figure here, you know, growing up in the 80s and, and, and watching G.I. Joe, you know, you, you love the cartoon, and as collectors, we all you know, gravitate towards all of those things that really are, are represent that nostalgia of what we had back in the day and, and those beautiful cartoons and, and, and TV shows and everything that we had. But I feel like of all the GI Joe characters and figures that we've had thus far, she truly represents the eighties and, and the, the beauty of that nostalgia, you know, uh, amidst of all the figures that we've had, She's the one that truly represents that because she has that, she embodies that 80s look to her. And I, and I like that, you know, from the hairstyles to the midriff jacket here, uh, she just has that 80s look to her. And I, and that's what I love and I appreciate. The colors really pop. She has the pink midriff jacket. She has the little uh, shoulder pads, has little, little spikes here to the side, you know, just the armbands, everything just screams 80s, the chain. The jeans here, the colors, you know, just everything just really pops and it just screams 80s. And I and I truly appreciate that. Uh, she re also reminds me of Jane Child. She's like an R&B singer. She sung uh, Don't Want to Fall in Love. And I said that when I first saw uh, the reveal of this figure, man. And I was just so impressed with her. You know, of course, uh, articulation. Very impressed with articulation in terms of the arms because she can go up with ease even though she has these little these little shoulder pads it's soft good plastic so it doesn't deter any articulation she has double jointed pinless knees and elbows so she has no problem articulating at all you know nice articulation in the foot area i just i love the detail here with the knee pads and the little rip in the jeans everything just really works and and honestly folks this has to be one of my best gi joe classified figures i said that at the top and I'm just very impressed. Of course, we have the knife sheath here. Looks awesome. And she just, like I said, again, she just represents the 80s. The face scope looks fantastic. The How they captured the look and the detail and the, the makeup that they placed around the eyes or the, the, the paint deco, which represents the makeup around the eyes. Just looks awesome. The lipstick, the grimace on her face. She has that look of determination. That look of don't mess with me. <laughs> I'm gonna get you looked to her. It just looks so cool. And again, she just it just screams like 1980s all over again. You know, I think and again, she represents that more than any G.I. Joe classified figure that I've seen thus far. And she gives you two different looks. I mean, this is more of a modern look that she has. I love this look. It has the pink, the yellows, you know, it really works well together. I love bright, vibrant colors, and I think she has that. She embodies that all the way through. You know, I'm just torn. I like this hairstyle, but I like this one too. You know, this is this is pretty cool as well. So I'm kind of torn on, on what I want, but uh, this is cool, y'all. I'm, I'm loving this around. I'm loving it more than I thought I would. Just very impressed with this figure overall. Hopefully we'll get her brother Xandar uh, soon. Again, we have 
some more dreadnoughts coming. We have three versions of Zartan, so uh, more dreadnoughts to come, folks. But this is a very, and I mean very impressive figure overall. Another thing I wanted to uh, showcase is the spurs. Look at the spurs on the boots as well, folks. So uh, detailed all the way throughout with this action figure here. Again, she has the uh, knee pads. So I guess these are the long boots here that she has with the knee pads. Really interesting design all the way throughout. But she has these uh, cowboy type of a boots with the spurs at the end, which is a nice touch right here as well. Uh, let me pose her up before we head out. Actually, let's put the hot blade. Let's put this to her. And look at this deep, look at the detail. Look at the rhinestones, folks. Before we get out of here, look at the rhinestones on the back of the, the, the mid dress jacket. This looks so cool, folks. All right, so let's put the little hot blade uh, backpack on. Let's equip her with the hot blade. You gotta, you gotta stay out of the way, man. She got this hot blade going. Yeah, I love it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. That is awesome, folks. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Cobra! All right, let's get on to the next. And here for comparison alongside our new Zorana figure, I have her brother, the G.I. Joe Classified Hasbro PostCon exclusive, Master of the Skies, Zartan. Bring on the Dreadnoughts. Let's get on to the next. And here with Zorana, I have the G.I. Joe Classified Retro Carded, Baroness. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. <laughs> Baroness and Zorana had infiltrated G.I. Joe base more times than I could ever count throughout that whole entire series. It was ridiculous. Baroness started it out in the early episodes. She infiltrated G.I. Joe every other day. And then Zorana picked up the baton and she started doing the same thing. It was, it was ridiculous. Like, I don't know how G.I. Joe allow that to happen each and every time out. It's a I know it's an animated series, but I used to I used to think like even back as a kid, I was like, how are they allowing these people to infiltrate their base every day? <laughs> it just seemed like that every day. And here we have Zorana with the G.I. Joe classified Destro, the infamous Cobra Commander. He's getting ready to retreat. And last but not least, we have Major Blood. And here we have Zorana with the G.I. Joe classified Hasbro PostCon exclusive, Serpentor. This, I command. All right, folks, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Had a blast with this arena. It is the real deal, folks. Hands down, one of the best G.I. Joe classified figures to date. Very impressed with Zorana. Looking forward to more Dreadnoughts as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. But folks, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to comment below. Share your thoughts. Always look forward to seeing what you have to say about all this. Also, on top of that, let me know what you've been collecting out in the wild. You know, always look forward to seeing what you're collecting. But folks, be sure to comment below. Also, be sure to like share and subscribe as well folks if you haven't done so already be sure to do that ring that bell for all notifications so that you get each and every one of my content pieces as it drops also folks follow me on social media i'm on instagram and twitter and again folks thank you so much for tuning in and until next time be good to one another be safe stay tuned and always remember that knowing is half the battle. And as you can see, Old Snake Eyes and Scarlet are in hot pursuit of Zorana and her brother Zartan. Stay tuned for the next episode of G.I. Joe. Until next time, folks. Bye for now.